Hey everyone, this is Faxon. Oh my god, it has been so long since I've made a video. Like, I have no excuses. I have no excuses, I'm sorry. So today's video, not so much of a tutorial as it is a learning experience that we are going to discover together because I only like about 50% know what I'm doing. I've, I've done elements of this before, so I feel strongly that it's gonna work. But we're gonna learn a little bit about styling wigs together because you never know everything, right? So, today I'm going to be making Seymour Guado from Final Fantasy X. Seymour has these giant antennae, uh, and we're just gonna jump right in. The first thing I did was make this weird little helmet out of the wire. It's basically a pancake with two little spikes that are going to poke out from under your wig. This is going to be the support for Seymour's antennae. I attached some craft foam to the underside of the pancake for cushioning. Then I drew a guide on the pool noodle to basically cut it in half so each antenna tapers into a point. Don't throw away your scraps though, we're going to use them later. Use a blade to refine the shape of the pool noodle. You can also sand it to get it smooth. Use a piece of wire along the inside of your pool noodle to help it take shape. Be careful not to melt the foam, a high temp glue gun would probably be too hot for this job as the foam has a fairly low melting temperature. Now take those scraps that you hopefully saved and piece them into the cracks with some hot glue. You can trim and sand these down too to make them fit. Now we're gonna take some cardboard to create the weird little horn thingy Seymour has that attached to the antennae. I really don't know a better way to describe them. <laughs> Using cardboard is gonna be stronger than more foam and will hold the pool noodles up better. I cut striations along my cardboard so I can bend them into a more complex shape. Here, I used some hot glue and electrical tape to hold them together, but you can use any kind of tape that sticks to cardboard. Trace the shape of your cardboard tube onto your noodle and cut a slot for it to fit into. Attach them with tape and glue. I also made the front spike out of two pieces of cardboard sandwiched with a wire running down the middle to attach to the wire helmet pancake thing, but I forgot to film it. But you're gonna make that, and then mix a paint as close as possible to the color of your wig and paint the three spike antenna things. Once the wire helmet is securely attached to the inside of the wig and the three spike antenna thingies are sticking out and painted, it's time to apply the hair. Take a brush and a comb that you don't mind ruining and start laying down strips of hair with your caulking. Brush down 6 to 10 inches of caulking in a straight line on your phone. Coat about an inch or two of the end of your hair with the caulking and lay it down, gently smoothing it into place. Work your way slowly down the antenna, lightly brushing, smoothing, and adding more caulking as you go. It's best to start in the back or somewhere inconspicuous when you're still getting the hang of this. That way you can hide your mistakes. This caulking is nice because it goes on white but dries clear. It has a decent setting time. You can work with the material for about five minutes or so before it starts getting too tacky to work with. And it cleans up nicely with water. After about 15 to 20 minutes, it sets enough so that it won't easily pull off or get messed up. Then rinse and repeat for 500 years.
once all three antennae are covered, it's time to style and add the hairline. First, I attach my tool to the inside of the wig. You can also use fabric or hair lace for this part. I slicked the hair back with some hairspray and then started to lay down my hair. I took small clumps of hair, feathered the tips, and laid them down with some tacky glue. I lay it on one clump at a time until I have a hairline. When it's dry, I can cut it into the shape I want. Finally, I can finish styling the hair with some hairspray and spiking glue. There you have it, an insane, logic-defying Final Fantasy hairdo. To get more styling tips and tricks, cosplay music videos, bloopers, and more, please check out my channel and subscribe. For info on wig commissions, check out my website, faxandcosplay.com. Thanks for watching.